Hi Revivers, Dr. Lin here at Rehab Revive Physical Therapy. I know some of you are living with BPPV. That's BPPV. Don't ask me to say it out loud too fast, it's gonna take another 15 seconds. But uh, this is for vertigo and for positional vertigo. And uh, we've got a great modified version I've tweaked around that's safer and I think less extreme than what's being out there for others on YouTube. So stay tuned. What we have to do is we have to figure out which side is the side that bothers you. It could be the right side or the left side. Uh, and how you test it is something called the Dix Hall Pike Maneuver. You could do it yourself, uh, but it's better with a professional. Uh, I highly recommend that, is that you go seek out a, a vertigo specialist or a physical therapist that knows anything about vertigo. Um, it seems simple enough, but you want to be feeling like you're in a safe environment where you're not falling. Now, if you have BPPV, then this is the test that works, or and that's, that's what we're gonna go find and investigate. So, how are you gonna do this? Is I'm gonna keep my head straight, and I'm just gonna fall back with some good momentum, turn my head to the right, turn my head to the left, and it looks like this. So, I just fall back, and I let gravity do its thing. Now, if, and I'll do this on the other side, so I'll fall back, now you're gonna have to. You're definitely gonna have to have some back flexibility and safety, and next to safety, to be able to do this on your own. But the most important thing is which side starts the dizziness. It could take 30 seconds, up to 30 seconds or more, and just let the dizziness kind of wear out. Then you can pop back up. If it's this side that, when my head is turned, causes all that vibration, all that dizzy dizziness, we're gonna start on the right side of the bed. Um, and then otherwise, or you start on the left side of the bed. But today, let's just say we're starting on the right side of the bed. All right, so let's say my Dix Hall Pike was positive on the right side. Uh, now we're gonna start this modified Epley's. I think this is one of the safer things. I'm always trying to make things safer here at Rehab Revive, so make sure you check with your healthcare practitioner, but I think this is the safest that's, I've seen all the, the garbage out there, so don't follow that stuff, follow me. <laughs> so, all right, so what we want to do is uh, you want to be able to have enough core strength to be able to do this, but you're going to drop towards your side. Go right here. Now, what's going to happen if you really look at someone's eyes, it just bobs back and forth. I do believe you should have someone in the room spotting you so you don't feel so uh, vulnerable. So, I'm going to go through the dizziness, and when it stops, I'm good. What's gonna happen next, this is step two, is to really just go and turn your body. And then your head is still there, okay? And when your head is still there, that's fine. And it's still, if it's, if it's kind of adjusting itself. The next maneuver is actually just to look up. And you wanna go through the dizziness again. So that's the step three. So you wanna look up, okay? Step four is to then turn your head left and go through the dizziness until that stops. Now, if it's dizzy, actually, I'm kind of a little dizzy. So, yeah, I actually didn't expect to feel a little dizzy. It's very mild, but um, made my eyes show it. Uh, what happens is your eyes bounce a little bit. Um, so I'm here in this uh, fourth, uh, third phase, fourth phase uh, of this, and then I'm gonna go to the side. And once again, I'm gonna let my ear kind of do its thing, my eyes do its thing. Um, and yeah, I'm, I actually have a little bit of dizziness. So if you kind of look, if I try to focus on you, um, there's probably a little bouncing that might be going on. Um, and it's slowly going away right now. I even feel like you have head pressure. So um, that's something new. And then I'm gonna pop up and see what happens. So this would be cool uh, in, a, in a second. So we're gonna pop up. The, and yeah, so it stopped right now. So I'm gonna pop up onto this side of the bed uh, and, and we'll see, okay? Um, three, one, two, three. All right. Yeah, actually, I got hit with something. Um, <clears throat> and it's a little dizzy right now. It came on about 10 seconds after I did this. Uh, I actually didn't think I was, I had a problem here, but you do that. And then, so I'm gonna run through this cycle again, over and over until this goes away. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, so after step one, uh, and the dizziness stops, what we wanna do 
Uh, next is to just keep your body to the side, but then get your head towards neutral. So this is step two. Uh, now, if you're dizzy a little bit, you wait till the dizziness stops. And if it stops, you wait for about 10 seconds. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll on your back here. Once again, you want it to stop. And then step four would be just turn my head, but keep my body and shoulder square. And right now, actually I'm having a little bit of dizziness right here, which you're gonna have to keep playing out. Um, but once you're done, the shaking has stopped. Uh, and what we're gonna do is then you're gonna turn and square your body, keep your head in that position. And then that's pretty much it. So you pop back up. And we're back. So remember, the most important piece of information is not just doing it the right way and finding out which position is the right way to start, but it's time. You have to be patient with this. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. Let me reiterate that. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. And you're gonna need, sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's 15 minutes. It's gonna take some big chunk of time out of your day. Uh, but the cool thing is, I think it's pretty conservative. But make sure you've checked with your healthcare professional that this is the right exercise for you and you're doing this at your own risk because uh, you may not have BPPV. So make sure we have other great exercises here that help dizziness as well. So we'll link those up above. I'm Dr. Lin. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and yeah, we hope to see you soon. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.